Bureau? No, I want the cops here right now. No, I'll talk to you. I'm going to stay right here. 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 The cops are right down the block. I can go inside. White lady calls the cops on a black lady. I get it. Oh, um, yeah, they're, they're videotaping. Mentally ill. Yeah. Listen, I'm a kid. You remember me, right? Yes, lady. From school, right? Yes. That's, That's right. The corner. son grabbed my ass. Here. She said and that my son said that I stay here. So I'm going to stay right so, here. Security Let me go. Don't say no way. Go home. Let's make it go viral. Go home. No. Let me go. No, not her. No, no. Come on. Oh, She's calling police on a black go woman. Go home. She needs to go home. Don't do this. This one's stupid. Don't do this. Yeah. Hold these cops. Hold them, bro. Like. There we go. There are officers down the block. They want to go on the floor. Go on the store, Carolyn. Well, that's what that is. Don't cry, little man. Don't cry, little man. Because she's calling the cop. Let's call the store, Carolyn. We got a new one. Call the store, Carolyn. Look at that. She calling police. Nobody want to touch your flat ass. Somebody. She calling police. Go home. Go home. Make, make her go viral. She's nasty. Yeah. Make her go viral. You're a pedophile. You're a pedophile. Make her go You're viral. You're a pedophile. You're a pedophile. Call him police. This, this, this is a pedophile. For the little kid bust her ass. You're a pedophile. Go home. Let yeah, yeah, yeah. me go go home. You're a pedophile. You pedophile. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, he said that little boy touched her ass. You serious? She's nasty. <laughs> Thank you. Because a little kid, because a little kid brushed up against her and touched her on her butt. She's calling police. Have you ever seen a child? Apartment 280 East 21st Street, Apartment 4J. And I am going home. Goodbye, not one operator. Now, why don't you upload that to a world star? Go away. What is your problem? I don't even know why y'all giving her attention. I'm, I'm pulling you out. You seriously just call the police on a child? On a police officer. Go away. No, white lady, I will not. Look, why are y'all, look, don't even get involved no more. Don't even get involved no more, miss, because that, that's, yeah. Oh, shameful. You're shameful. Oh, honey, you don't know what to say. You cannot shame me. You are a child. You are young enough to be my daughter. Okay. When you're 15 years old, if you were my mother, you would do what? Man, real life. 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 Man, no, go no, you home, ain't gotta tell her. Lady. Don't jump in her go face. Home. Don't jump in her face. Isn't that what you said? Go home. Listen, now lady. you antagonizing. You are antagonizing her now. You are antagonizing her. Now. You are antagonizing her now. On earth, what she started wasn't the. I don't know. She just went by and she just. Why are you jumping in her face? Ain't nobody wants to grab your ass. Yo, because I'm a cop. All right, so if you're a cop, then you should have more sense than that, lady. You ain't no cop. Can I tell you something crazy? Can I tell you something crazy? You're always doing some crazy shit, man. You're always doing some crazy shit. I'm good. Sis gonna get pushed. She always on some crazy shit. Going to store Carolyn. You got my address and. Okay, so y'all just heard, what should I say, saw this video today. And let me tell you something right now. When I first learned about this, it instantly pissed me off. More pissed off than I already was today. And I was pissed off by quite a few things today, but this one stuck on my brain the minute that it was sent to me. And shout out to the subscriber who sent it to me. Um, the video I originally saw, it came from Worldstar, but they said hopefully I can find it video from a more better source other than world star and good thing i did i typed in woman calls cop on child and would you believe when i typed that into the youtube search bar it brought up the story about the 
uh, black guy, Corey Lewis, who had the white woman follow him when he was babysitting the two white kids. I had to go through a couple of videos just to find this one, but I eventually did find it. And I hope this video does go viral. And I hope that this woman gets exposed for the bitch that she is. But anyway, so you have this woman, this unidentified individual who called the cops on a nine-year-old black boy. And you can tell that this happened in New York because she claims that he sexually assaulted her. And when I read the title before even looking at the video, I immediately thought of Emmett Till and Carolyn Bryant. This woman literally tried to pull a Carolyn Bryant 2.0. We all know the story of Emmett Till. I don't really have to go into a whole diatribe about what happened involving that. It was a very disgusting, disturbing case and story. It's very unfortunate what happened to that young man. And it's also very unfortunate that his mother, Mammy Till, did not get the justice that she properly, you know, deserved. As far as dealing with Carolyn Bryant's old bitch ass or her old hag ass. As if her coming forward nowadays could actually uh, mean anything. But anyway, so this woman claims that this nine-year-old boy sexually assaulted her, basically claiming that he brushed up against her ass. Now, let me tell y'all something right now. This woman is shaped like a crepe. If y'all don't know what a crepe is, that is basically a very flat, non-flavorful pancake. That's basically what it is. It has no flavor to it, and it's very flat. Much like her, flat and flavorless. This woman is shaped in like a number two pencil with a burnt tip. Oh, just a bad built bitch is what she is. That's what she. That's basically what she is. Talking about somebody brushed up against her ass. I would have a better chance at finding Waldo in a big ass candy cane factory before I even came close to finding her ass. Where on earth is Carmen San Diego is more like where on earth is her ass is nowhere to be found anywhere in this video. But she had the unmitigated, unfiltered, unseasoned, raw and uncut gall to pick up her phone and call the police on a nine-year-old child for allegedly sexually assaulting her. No one was thinking about her. And did she call herself a cop? Did she say, I could have sworn I heard in the video that she claimed she was a cop. I don't know on whose force she is, but they need to come and claim their, uh, their demon. Because that's exactly what she displayed in this video. Is being nothing but a straight up savage and a demon. Like she literally tried to get this boy hemmed up. And what makes it even hard to really look at and listen to is you hear the little girl or whoever the child was in the background crying because they don't know what's going on. And usually, well, they probably do. Kids usually have a sense of when something is happening or whenever they feel something is threatening nearby. And this woman was definitely threatening. But I do give kudos to the people that were around because they were like explaining the situation, how she was in the wrong and everything like that. But she went into that typical white woman tirade or not so much a tirade, but she act like she could care less about what was the situation at hand. She didn't care that she could have probably did something or been the cause of something very harmful to this boy. She just didn't care. But I also have to give kudos to that other white woman. I'm guessing she well, she called her white. But she didn't really look all that white to me. I guess there's that whole discussion, you know, if she's a Latino or whatever. But she, the one that was wearing the dress, she looked like she wanted to fight her. And you know what? If she did, I would have put my money on the woman in the dress to beat her ass. Because that white woman who did the calling looked like she couldn't fight worth a damn. It's unfortunate. I wish the brother didn't hold them, hold her back from fighting her. But he probably did hold her back because he knew that she would have messed her up. He probably knew of her and knew that she could really get down. But she really had no she really had no nerve, no shame about what she did. She's probably glad that she called the cops on her. And as a matter of fact, they've actually given her a name. They called her Cornerstone Caroline. Well, I call her Corner Whore Caroline because that's exactly what she carried herself like as a hoe whore. And nothing more. But this is the dangers that we are dealing with.
as black people in society. And now it's trickling down to the kids. A nine-year-old boy, he wasn't checking for that woman. But like someone said in the video, she's a pedophile. She's a pedophile. You know what she probably is. She was probably looking for someone to graze past her back because she doesn't have an ass. She's just a straight-up surfboard, an ironing board. She has no shape whatsoever. I don't know who or what would find that attractive. And I say what because she might be into bestiality. I don't know. But I do know that she pulled a wicked move and she tried to do an Emmett Till on that boy. And he probably doesn't even know what happened. You know, it's ha you know, stuff happens when you're in the store. Sometimes if you're in close proximity with someone, you might graze past them. You just say, excuse me, and you keep it moving. This woman, most she made a mountain out of a molehill. I know that's an old term, but I figure that would be a proper time to use the phrase. She was looking for a problem. She went there and with the intent of something happening just so she can go into straight up victim mode. And that's exactly what she did. And it sounded like a straight up bitch all in the process. They need to keep their eye on her. And I think in the video, her silly ass put out her address. I think she did. I only watched the video one time. And let me know in the comments. I think she put her address out there. So now people are going to know where she lives. That, I, I, that, there's that high IQ for you. That's just like that video um, with the uh, Uber driver. I'm, not, I'm sorry, not the Uber driver, the Lyft driver, where you had that the, um, that gay guy going, getting on the phone claiming he was racist towards him because he was gay, which is impossible. Because how can you be racist against a lifestyle? Racist means you're racist because of someone's race and ethnicity. But he was such a dumbass and so irate that he didn't even realize that he put his entire phone number out there for the world to hear. And from what I heard, people actually blew his phone up and to the point where he had to probably cut his phone off. And that's exactly what he gets. So if this woman happens to get any type of, I don't know, quote unquote, messages coming to her doorstep that doesn't seem so welcoming, that'll be her fault. But they need to find out who this woman is and they need to deal with her accordingly before she tries to pull this stunt on anybody else. That's all I really have to say as it pertains to this video. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I will talk to you in the next one. The links will be in the description.